Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Jazz Punk. Last time, we were drugged by someone. And then presumably placed in this weird chair with a brain doohickey and uh, we're bled or oiled or something like that. Again, the line between human and machine is confusing and kind of irrelevant. It kind of exists to be funny. But yeah, the plot thickened or sort of congealed, I supposed. And you can see that this is my room. You can tell by the tacky zebra carpet. Tourist in the stockyard. You are in terminal peril. I want to help. Come to the real pool. Verify you're not shadowed. You know, this is one of those games where, like, um, I'm talking about Valve games for a second time here. But like Portal, I feel like if this game were to go scary, also you can actually see the way that they've drilled this hole and just put a camera in there. I feel like, as with a Valve game, specifically Portal, but there are a few of them, if it wanted to go horror... <laughs> It could have very easily. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, so I think it goes the same way every time. So even if I go to a random room here, just Hunter S. Thompson. And the milk truck. I'll hold on to it. It's fun. They lit the cheeky heads up. I like that. What the hell was that? Maybe the bug on me just fried bug is an electronic bug, and so it would have fried by short-circuiting in the water. Not to imply that it would fry in water. That's not how anything works. <laughs> Very cool. Scary a little. And yeah, as as mentioned, he does sleep here. What can I do you for? So yeah, this was the editor. Whoa, are you crazy? His card said antagonist and he meant it. He's the main villain of the game, and he's only appeared here. No one picked up my drink that I threw. I love a good fruity drink, you know? Whose blood is this? Or was that me, maybe? Polybank, thank good how you made it. I trust you weren't followed. I have some pretty big information for you. But first, we'll need to take the necessary precautions. Okay, just hold still. This will hurt you a lot more than it will hurt me. You've got those backwards, huh? When you're ready. Now they can't monitor us. You should sit down. There's a trauma couch over there. So they replaced one of my teeth with a uh, radio transceiver. I actually recognize some of these diodes from that time when I tried to put together a computer. Sit down to hear intense news. First, ran Ransom Magazine, over 100 pages. <laughs> Free razor blade and glue pad. <laughs> 
and proper spelling tips for beginners. You can see that he's also monitoring my room. Show me on the screen, doll, where they lobotomized you. Oh my god, I knew it. They lobotomized you right in the noggin. I never had to do this, uh, like, the string in a door trick to get one of my teeth out when I was a kid. Like Master VidCon. Betamax 2, Viant Videodrome. Two tapes enter, one dub leaves. Language Broken Hill Australian. <laughs> you know, you already had... Alright, listen carefully. You already had a Thunderdome joke. This resort, it's all fake. It's software. We're all characters in a simulation. It's taken me decades, but I've discovered a way out of here. Find the mechanical boar. Kill it and cook it. It will lead you to freedom. Take this. The natives use it for hunting the boar. Godspeed, Holly Blank. Godspeed. So yeah, use music to lull the boar to you. So, a boar on a tropical island, killing it and eating it especially, makes me think of Lord of the Flies. And I love Lord of the Flies. One of my favorite of those, like, books that they force you to read in school. It's got a QR code and little wheels. There we go. Couldn't we have just turned that, or did we have to have the pig on there? But yeah, as though it wasn't already... Like, let's talk about this for a sec. It's not as though the game is a simulation. It's a video game. But you could argue that that means, by its nature, it's a simulation. But also, the resort itself is a simulation, even though we took a drug to get here. More complicated. I believe this is a... This looks like a wetware logical map. Octolober. Oh, yeah. Please note that this map shows the most population of the network according to the best information obtainable. No claim can be made for its accuracy. Most computer configurations supplied by the Network Information Center name shows are IMP names, not host names. Pluribus IMP, satellite circuit, and distant host. One of the things about Jazzpunk is that it has a very interesting world. And it, it, it is, to be honest, more concerned... Escape what works. More concerned with having funny, dumb things happen. And that's fair, more power to it. But, like, the idea of chemically entering somewhere is interesting. It reminds me of... Uh, I mean, I don't want to put too fine a point on this, but it's reminiscent of Morrowind lore a little bit. Butterfly on the cogs. Is that a reference to the butterfly effect? This... Oh, it's the VR guy. This type of um, cell shading is uh, common in magazines of the era because the ink was so cheap and primitive. I'm going to turn the game down a little bit. Upgrade me. There we go. Incredible machine. Is it ever going to finish panning down? My cat's still going nuts. We are at the beginning of a new wave of research. Uh-huh. That's one of those things where I feel as though I wasn't supposed to watch it for that long.
Oh, interesting. It sucks you back quickly, too. I actually, um, I mentioned this, but I recently picked up a, uh, one of those simple, like, VR headsets for my phone. It's essentially just like a cardboard VR set, but made of plastic and a little better made. And I would like to play with it, um, maybe even get, like, a game going there. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that'll work, though. I would be interested by though. That scream is the Wilhelm scream. It's a common stock scream. Zip me up. Oh, dot zip me up. It's kind of very weird to see this considering that these are photorealistic genes. Oh God, I fell out of the elevator. Let me finish this game of solitaire. <laughs> Not very uh, good game of solitaire there, fam. Bessel functions of the first kind. Possible reference to third encounters. Close encounters of the third kind. It's a movie about aliens. <laughs> it's on a little fishing rod. Like, you see it and you're like, oh shit. And if you actually read it, you're like, oh. Press the S key to step away. Press down forward punch to Hadouk in your terminal. And if you press anything else, like press the S key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a clever. Like, what a stupid thing, and yet, what a clever. Oh, God, what happened? What a clever little thing, you know? My homepage is a star. My homepage is a star. Did you notice the weird little, like, Vector mountains around the uh, on the edges here. <laughs> sure thing, bud. Yes, hello, E. How far can I fall here? Right. Not very. So go the trombomboline effect. Oh, God. Activate Darknet. Oh, you can actually see that the button moves. Neurodyne, Plumbicon, Death Masks, Human Organs, Terminus, Calculus, Shredder, Surveillance, Credit Card Numbers, Dot Matrix, Data Mesh. I feel like these voices are just getting stupider and stupider. And considering we started with like, I'll just be in the wide cellar, with like a bunch of like voice modulation on it, that's saying something. My 
My girlfriend and I are thinking of taking a vacation to meet space. My girlfriend and I are thinking of taking a vacation to meet space. Meet space being the real world minus, you know, considering that some people think of the internet as the real world. Oh, that's funny. It just kind of resets it here. Asterix caffeine. Oh, that's really clever as well. <laughs> Considering that we already actually had a Starbucks joke. Companion, pet, personal, companion. Oh, God. And hey, we're back here. All right. It's been 15 minutes. I almost hate to cut considering the plot's thickening, but... I wanted to have short episodes. So... I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Jazzpunk. Have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming by.